Hello, everyone. Uh, my presentation is uh, based on unpredictable uh, supply demand in the COVID-19 situation uh, assimilation study. So the basically, we are um, two researchers here. Uh, my name is Mohammed Samsun Doha. I'm serving uh, as an associate professor of supply chain at West Island University in the USA. And my co uh, researcher is like Tasnu Banasir, adjunct faculty uh, in supply chain at Western University. So, the reason behind of I'm doing research uh, because uh, the case study uh, is from uh, a small country, Bangladesh, an Asian country. So they are facing unpredictable supply demand situation um, in their uh, dairy sector. So we are we are going to choose an, um, an, a, like a the largest farm over there uh, who has like a sixteen hundred uh, cow head cattle head, and so uh, we'll try to analyze then why. Uh, they fail to do the uh, predict uh, the supply and demand situation uh, and uh, to get the uh, like optimum production and, and the better profitability. So let's see about the little fact on uh, based in Bangladesh. I know then uh, it's not a familiar country to you all. So Bangladesh has like a 170 million population, GDP is 860 million billion, and GDP rank is 39th in the world. And GDP growth, growth is substantially better and 7.9% um, due to the pandemic, uh, the COVID-19. Uh, so everything, uh, everything may be recalculated. Uh, per capita income, uh, it was like below 500 uh, 10 years or 15 years before, and now it's significantly improved um, if we classify 2100 to 5453. Uh, land size is very small, 55 uh, um, like kilo square miles. And the egg production is 35 million, and fish production is 10th. Uh, overall um, uh, ranking in the world and the third uh, in sweet water or freshwater based. So it estimated comprises 30 million of cattle. We have 1.83 million of buffaloes, 14.8 million of goats and 1.9 million of sheep and 118.7 million chicken and 70, uh, 34 million ducks. So livestock is very popular and uh, uh, almost 60% of people are living in the um, semi-urban or rural areas. So they are having, most of the household having some dairies, not in a commercial way. And they are rearing it as like, a, um, they used to do it for their own demands, uh, family demand. But we will stick on the commercial uh, the productions. So the my concern is like, uh, the COVID-19 perspective utterly are new to the world um, from uh, last December 2019. So it has changed the millions of views, different fields, and especially and the most, uh, you know, discussable matters is supply chain. And so because uh, we have witnessed and so many products we have, but we could not able to supply on time due to the bottlenecks. So the COVID-19 situation um, is introduced to everyone as an abnormal and people have to think and adjust the new normal situation in their daily lives. So agriculture is a fundamental area as it has and uh, Bangladesh is developed, uh, is now uh, middle earning uh, uh, current countries. And so they are adopting latest technology in their uh, uh, different sort of operations. And consider that giant conglomerates, those who are starting their business and, and structurally, they are doing much better uh, uh, than the traditional farmers. Traditional farmer uh, actually was not um, that much familiar with the latest technology. They don't have, uh, you know, a better education to adopt all this, but uh, the educated uh, the entrepreneurs are coming up and they are, uh, trying to change everything based on the uh, the, the latest technology. So 
the livest sector global is high dynamic, highly dynamic and volatile in particular. Uh, so livest uh, products like the dairy milk uh, is increasingly demandable matters uh, to maintain the uh, health, uh, you know, the protein and the growth are consistently vertical in the last two decades. And so according to Dhaka Tribune, um, only 27.31 uh, gram um, are consuming uh, milk consumed by the per capita in Bangladesh, which is significantly low. Uh, who recommend is 480 ml, so which is far away to achieve. But uh, a decade ago, Bangladesh used to take only uh, nine milliliter uh, per capita, but it is improving, nine to is now around 30 gram. So, because a significant portion of people, almost 40% people are living below the poverty line. So their average is really uh, alarming and shocking. So that's why the average is going down. So, and the milk consumption is many poor countries, precisely neighboring countries is higher, a little higher than like India, Maldives, Pakistan are better, uh, it's a little better than uh, Bangladesh. So Bangladesh could achieve this because we have the environment um, so the abstract is basically is uh, as you know the 50,000 households are having this farm. Unfortunately, last 10 years it is facing a uh, supply demand um, volatility and COVID-19 hit uh, the most, and because farmers are unable to sell their products, and then it's a perishable goods again. So demands are highly inconsistent due to the various propagandas like contamination of chemicals and waters disease outbreak and feed contamination, antibiotic uses and the likes. And in fact, people are trying to find alternative sources of dairy milk through the powder milk, which is another uh, problem because the giant, giant uh, you know, the companies are pushing their markets, uh, the powder milk, so which is actually really, uh, it's hard to compete with them by the small farmers and medium farmers. So, but now, it is the farmers are getting trying to get uh, united and, and solve the bottlenecks of their process. So dairy farmers are struggling to know real life demand situation so that they can produce what numbers they can produce and so appropriate supplies uh, uh, due to the coronavirus outbreak. Um, so their productions are getting perished and spoiled due to the lack of supply chain. They do not have a different processing unit to save their products. And in this situation, they're losing capitals. And so they have to do. So in this research, so we are agendized to make a simulation model. And so which will incorporate all the effects of vulnerable variables, including COVID-19. And such a model can forecast and demand uh, real demands and supply impacting unstable variables. The farmers thus uh, visualize the scenery and take the decision of what they needed to do. Uh, there is a, a remarkable, um, you know, research gap exists um, and understanding vulnerable um, situations uh, of demand and supply. The research process uh, will regulate the demand situation and the dairy subsector. The model is going to consider real life situation, obviously, and considering the new normal production planning uh, aspect. So system dynamic methodology will be used here. And so the approach has to potentially creating the new uh, small and medium enterprise. They will get a guideline from it. So the objective is pretty simple. Um, uh, we, we will uh, do the rigorous uh, literature review, develop a simulation model, forecast the demands through the simulation model, visualize the scenarios like unpredictable variables like government policies, repetitive natural catastrophes, and then customer distrust and disease outbreak and excessive antibiotic uses, hazardous uh, growth promoter uses, inconsistent market price and other essential and, and important variables. So these are the case studies and they are uh, situated in a very uh, isolated place for maintaining hygiene and uh, biosecurity. So I'm just showing you that uh, this kind of model will develop. This model has been developed by us uh, in a poultry simulation modeling, but we will do the similar kind of uh, modeling in the dairy sectors. And then we'll do the reliability test uh, to find out actually um, the prediction we are doing, how reliable it is. 
and then we will also do the very test through the different parameters as you see the government policy the competitors actions and over 100 productions and all this natural disaster and then we'll find the supply demand uh, gap through like this model so so that you know we let know the farmer so this might be happening this particular time so that you should be careful and then you can reduce the production because it's a natural production stability uh, from the cow head so you have to plan well before so that's why uh, uh, it is then tricky than the other production you cannot stop or you cannot produce uh, right away so also this research will consider about the waste management and from the, the dairy then waste whatever get then we will make the byproduct like fertilizer, biogas on fish feed. So and then we look for the economic viability and then total outcomes is better productivity, meet the supply demand gap, better forecasting or future behavior, achieving sustainability. This is the quantity of waste and possibility of byproduct generation, economical visibility and uh, viability, and, and uh, some experimentation based on needed. So again, uh, the model, the future research uh, will be find out through the on link. So this is the way we will try to uh, do this research uh, to deal with the unpredictable supply demand situation in the COVID-19 situation. In fact, it is the uh, unpredictability is there and now the situation is getting worse. So uh, hopefully the research will find something uh, good for the, uh, you know, the, the, the dairy communities uh, in this form. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, let me know.